So listen up if you are one of these people that is overly concerned with what other people think. Other people's expectations piling on top of you, their opinions of you, you know, afraid to make a move in anything because you're afraid of how it's going to be received. Um, this practice is for you. So what happens with this is we have these little tendrils of energy that kind of connect us to everyone else around us. And we're, we're essentially uh, draining our power away, draining our energy, our agency, our uh, vitality into other people when we have those concerns. So this practice is really meant to uh, gather your own energy, your own life force back into you uh, so that you can move forward in the ways that you feel are best. And that doesn't mean that you're harming anyone. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, just giving the middle finger to the people that care about you and love you, but you are in alignment. You're in integrity. You're doing what you know to be true and to be right and to be in alignment with you. And if other people have issues with that, that's their issue. So this practice really does call back in. It's a very simple practice. Calls back in your energy, allows your mental energy, emotional energy, and sort of desire energy to just be yours again. And this is really beneficial on a number of levels, not just uh, if you're overly concerned with other people's opinions. Uh, so this is a Taoist practice called Three Minds Into One. And we're starting by kind of, you, know, you can kind of imagine these like kind of spaghetti string tendril energies sort of, you know, floating out in all these directions from your brain. So we're going to do three different centers, the mind, the heart, and the belly, the womb, the, the sexual center, the power center. And so we start with the head. We'll start with the, uh, what we call the crystal palace. And so I like to use my hands, just imagining I'm like gathering all those spaghetti strings, all those uh, opinions and my thoughts, you know, I'm gathering my thoughts back into me. So this could be other people's opinions, but it could also be things you're worrying about, things that are held in your brain, right? It doesn't mean you're going to drop them, but just for a moment, allowing your own energy to come back in can bring a lot of clarity. So using your hands to just sort of gather that in for a moment and then eventually just sitting in silence and stillness and just feeling all those tendrils being pulled back into your body and into the center of your brain. And you can imagine kind of a, a crystal in the center of your brain, right? And feeling that gem of clarity, of vision, clear mind. And then you'll do the same thing with the heart. So, and you can use your hands or not. And so guiding those strands of energy. And this is things that you care about, things that you, and so this could be, you know, it's similar to thoughts, but um, it's anything that tugs at your heartstrings, right? Um, so anything that is causing you turmoil, frustration even, grief, anxiety, worry, etc. cetera. Uh, so anything that is that you, you're feeling like you're pouring your heart into. And again, this doesn't mean you can't pour your heart into things, and but just to, to feel that for a moment, to feel all your energy return to you. And again, to have that clear sense of your heart and, and what you care about, what you love. And so eventually feeling like an emerald, uh, at the center of the heart, beautiful emerald stone in the center of the heart. And this is gathering your prana. This is gathering your, your life force energy back into you. An energy of love and care. Yeah. And then just sensing the clarity of feeling. What it feels like to be anchored into your own heart. Hmm. <sighs> And then doing that same thing with uh, the lower dantian, so the spot right below the belly button, maybe three finger th fingers width below the belly button and in towards the center of the body. There's a beautiful kind of glowing, you know, it's kind of like either a citrine or like a carnelian stone color, right? So sitting there at the center, and this is our desire, so what we want our desires, like what we want other people to do, the things we want in the world, the things we want to happen. Um, maybe it's possessions, maybe it's people, maybe it's opportunity, whatever it is. And so calling that desire back to you, calling your own desire back to this kind of house of sweetness 
in that low belly. And so again, you can use your hands to gather those different spirals and tendrils of energy that maybe are floating around and make sure you get the back as well. And so sensing all of that then, resting in stillness and feeling that center of that lower Dantian as this house of power, this house of energy and vitality. Mm. Yeah. Gathering the yogic tradition, we'll call it ojas um, or the kidney jing for the Taoists. So, calling that energy back into the center of you and feeling that core satiated, the core satiation. Hmm. <laughs> and then just feeling all three of these energy centers lined up and feeling a column of light down the spine, feeling your energy consolidated, feeling your energy as yours. Always has been, always will be. And from this clear and sovereign place, you get to decide what to do with your precious life. If you'd like to learn more about these practices, if you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with how to consolidate your energy, how to be sovereign, how to move towards what you desire, what you care about, reach out. I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions for men and women, one-on-one -on -one alchemy cocoon containers to support your transformation. And it would be my honor, my pleasure to support you in your journey.